Forget what you have been told by the education industry about needing certifications. I have found vulnerabilities in major companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, and TikTok without a single certification, and you can do it too for free. Most of what you need is already out there on the internet for free. I know that because that is exactly how I started. And even today, I don't have any certificates. And if you're looking for proof, I am constantly finding bugs in major companies and I'm watching complete beginners in our Discord community land vulnerabilities worth thousands on companies like Netflix and Epic Games. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do have my own course with more than hundred labs and videos and it hurts to say this because i've spent countless hours creating these labs and i know some of you are going to ask for it the link is in the description i want to keep it real you definitely don't need to spend a ton of money when you're just starting out or even any money at all what you actually need are three things first consistency showing up daily to practice and learn second is curiosity constantly asking what happens if i try this and third commitment pushing through when things get tough i understand that not everyone has the time to hunt down scattered resources some people need structure and guidance and that's totally fine that's why courses exist but whether you're going to be self-taught or choose structure programs this video gives you the complete roadmap from absolute beginner to landing your first vulnerability for each step i'll give you a specific task to build your skills right away so here's your first task drop a comment down below telling me which part of bug bounty hunting you're most excited to learn about i read every comment and it helps me know what to focus on in future videos before we dive into the how-to let's quickly cover what bug bounty hunting actually is companies like google microsoft tiktok and even smaller startups run programs where they invite ethical hackers that's you to find security vulnerabilities in their systems find a bug report it properly and get paid sometimes hundreds or even thousands of dollars for critical findings but this isn't just about making money bug bounty hunting builds practical skills that employers are desperately looking for when i was hunting for a job my bug bounty experience is what set me apart from other candidates and ultimately helped me land my first application security position each vulnerability you discover becomes a concrete example of your skills in action you're essentially building a professional portfolio that speaks volume way more than any certifications alone what makes this experience Experience gold on your resume is that employers can see that you have tested your skills against real production systems and succeeded. They're not just taking your word that you understand security concepts, you've got the proof to back it all up. And the best part is anyone can get started. You don't need a fancy degree or an expensive certification, just curiosity, determination, and the roadmap that I'm sharing with you today. I'm going to assume that you know the basics here and you understand the fundamentals, but just in case you don't, Here's everything that you need to know. Before you start bug bounty hunting, you need a solid foundation. Nothing complicated, just enough to understand what you're working with. Let's break it down into three essential areas with free resources that you can get started today. First, it's Linux basics. Most hacking tools run on Linux, so getting comfortable with the command line is essential. Start with Ubuntu, it's beginner friendly, it's free, and you can install it alongside your current operating system. This gives you a stable base to learn before diving into specialized distributions like Kali Linux. The goal here is to get familiar with the basic commands, file navigation, and package management. These are the skills that will serve you throughout your journey with bug bounty and hacking. For learning resources, linuxjourney.com offers an excellent interactive course that walks you through commands step by step. Over the wires, Bandit is also another fantastic option. It turns learning Linux into a game where each level teaches you a new command line. And if you prefer a more structured approach, John Hammond's Linux for Hackers is also up for grabs that you can take. Just a few weeks of consistent practice will build your confidence tremendously. Networking fundamentals. Now you need to understand how the internet works. Under the hood, things like IP addresses, DNA, and how data flows. Both Practical Networking and Network Chuck on YouTube explain these concepts clearly, making them super accessible for beginners. You should understand how IP addresses work, what DNS does, common ports and protocols, HTTP, HTTPS concepts, and things like that. These fundamentals will help you understand what's happening when you're testing an application. Now let's get into web fundamentals. Most bug bounty programs are web-based, so understanding how a website functions, things like HTML, JavaScript, and how browsers communicate with servers are really important. Free Code Camp's web development course is excellent. It is hands-on and completely free. Focus on learning HTML and basic JavaScripts and how browsers render pages, client-side interactions, and web application architectures. Understanding these components make it much easier to identify where vulnerabilities may exist. You don't need to become an expert here just yet. Just spend a couple of weeks here getting comfortable. The more you understand, the easier it will be to spot vulnerabilities. Here's your first challenge though. Create a sample web page and get it online. 
install Ubuntu locally or spin a digital ocean server. I'll put a link down below in the description for free credits. Install Apache, create a page in HTML with a form and view it in your browser. This is a mini project that combines Linux, networking, and web skills into one exercise. Bonus points, if you can get a VPS up and running, point a domain to it, and then share a screenshot in our Discord so I know you have accomplished your first task. Now, let's gear up with the tools every bug bounty hunter needs. We're keeping it simple with just the essentials right now. Proxy tools, these let you intercept and modify web traffic to find vulnerabilities. I personally like Kaido, but the Burb Suite free version is also a classic. Download it and learn to proxy your traffic and be able to repeat requests. It's like having an X-ray vision for websites. You'll be able to see and manipulate requests in ways the application's developers didn't intend, revealing potential vulnerabilities. Next, you want to learn about browser developer tools. Chrome or Firefox have built-in dev tools that are already on your computer and incredibly powerful. Open them up, explore the network tab, and see what a site is sending and receiving. It's your window into how web apps function. These tools show you JavaScript execution, network communication, storage, and all the different areas where vulnerabilities may be hiding. You're also going to want to learn how to do recon. These help you find targets to test. So start with something like Subfinder, discover subdomains for free, then pair it with HTTPS, to see which one of those domains are actually live. This gives you a map to find additional attack surfaces that might not be just well tested as the main domain. A lot of times you'll find assets that have been not tested that could be vulnerable or they're just lesser known subdomains. And I really need you to hear me out when I say this. Tools don't make the hackers. Your knowledge does. Master these three and you're ready to begin. And as far as your action step goes, grab Subfinder, run it on a domain like fort.com, find subdomains, then use HTTPX to see which ones respond. Pick one live site and route its traffic through Burb Street or Kaido. And then that is your first workflow when it comes down to doing bug bounties. This is the most important part of your bug bounty journey. Practice, and that starts with the learning platforms. The first one is Port Swigger Web Security Academy. This is my number one recommendation because it is completely free, built by the team behind Burb Suite, and it covers every web vulnerability you need to learn. It's like XSS, SQL Injection, RC, SSRF, you name it. Each lesson is paired with a clear explanation with a lab where you practice exploiting a vulnerability. The progression is well designed and it keeps you moving from basics to advanced concepts. I also like to recommend Hacking Hub, which is special because it is mostly free and and it is built from actual vulnerabilities that myself and other security researchers have found in real programs. Think of it as a playground with vulnerabilities pulled from the real world applications, like looking for SSRFs that were in a specific bug bounty program, or even looking at SSO and account takeovers that some of the hackers have found in live hacking events. It is super practical, it's realistic, and it keeps you practicing with current scenarios. And for those of you that are ready for more challenges, check out Hack the Box. It's more difficult, but excellent for building advanced skills. Begin with their easier challenges and gradually work your way up. They this will push you to your limits in a good way and introduces you to techniques that can set you apart. Also, it is worth noting that you should explore things like DVWA, OWASP Juice Shop, Google Gruyere, and the Dame Vulnerable Restful API for API security. Each of these platforms offer unique learning opportunities for specific vulnerability types. Hacking is not a spectator sport. These platforms let you learn by doing it in a safe environment. So set a goal to do two to three labs a week and you'll be amazed on how quickly you learn these skills. So as far as your action step goes, Go sign up for Port Swigger Academy right now. It's free. Links in the description. Start with an XSS lab. It's a classic vulnerability. Every hacker should know, understand it, complete it, take that experience and sense of accomplishment. Then come back and drop me a comment saying XSS completed and how long it took you. While we're talking about practice and I understand that practice builds skills, connecting with the right people and resources will take this journey to the whole next level. Start by reading vulnerability reports on HackerOne's activity section. These real world examples show you exactly how successful bug bounty hunters think and work. I also recommend checking out blogs from active researchers like myself, Sam Curry, aka ZLZ, and others who have shared detailed walkthroughs of their findings. For video content, there are awesome channels like Insider PhD, Bug Bounty Reports Explains, break down complex concepts into approachable ways. And don't miss out on the Critical Thinking podcast during your commute. Their interviews with top hunters are packed with practical insight. Twitter is also a useful tool for finding great write-ups, but don't get lost in all the noise of generic bug bounty tips that aren't always is valid. Instead, focus on building deeper connections in communities. Discord servers are like a gold mine and they have become the real heart of bug bounty collaboration. I have seen complete strangers become friends through our Discord and they go on to make thousands of dollars while doing bug bounties together. The conversations and the relationships that you build in these communities will help you overcome obstacles that would be impossible to tackle alone. If you need an action step here, join my Discord. Link is in the pinned comments. Head to the introduction channel 
and tell us who you are and how you found us from this video. Getting started with real targets. Now that you have built a foundation, it is time to put your skills to work on real targets. Don't worry about making money right away. Focus first on building your methodology and confidence using VDPs or Vuln Disclosure Programs. VDPs are perfect for beginners because they let you practice on legitimate targets without the competitive pressure of bug bounties. Spend a few weeks here, not a whole lot. Just hunt for XSS, IDOR, SSRF, whatever Vuln type that you like. This helps you build your recon skills, report writing ability, and most importantly, gives you confidence. A lot of these Vuln Disclosure Programs are just an amazing place to learn because you're not going against top bug bounty hunters and people that are looking to make money. And honestly, you just need to learn how to build the muscle before you start making money and get into the weeds but once you have found a few vulnerabilities through vdps and you have refined your process then move to bug bounty programs where you can start earning a little bit of money the transition will feel natural because you've already developed your workflows and overcome the initial intimidation factor don't be intimidated by all the expert bug bounty hunters and all these tweets that you see online everyone starts somewhere and even simple findings are valuable as a contribution to these companies what matter is taking that first step and actually trying this time i need you to go inside up on hacker one bug crowd yes we hacker integrity pick one vulnerability disclosure program or even a bug bounty with a clear scope and spend a weekend doing reconnaissance on it even if you don't find anything immediately don't worry about it you're still building essential skills through this process and before i wrap up the video i want to give you some raw honest advice as you keep going in your journey whether you're just starting out or looking to level up to be more advanced here's my most powerful advice for continuous growth master the art of deep dive learning pick one vulnerability type and make it yours let's say ssrf that was my favorite in 2018 you're starting from scratch no clue what it is no clue what it means it's something about tricking the web server into making a request sounds interesting you are intrigued step one search for ssrf basics you will find a port trigger article explaining it, server switching URLs you control, but maybe you don't fully understand HTTP. So you pause, watch a video on HTTP headers, responses, status, and codes. Post versus get, it all begins to make sense. You experiment in Burp Suite, sending requests, analyzing responses. It takes a weekend, but you're starting to understand the web language. Now back to the SSRF. You read a write-up, someone somehow bypassed the filter with a specific URL format. You search regex, find a regex 101 tutorial, practice with patterns. Hours later, you're crafting URLs to bypass denial list. It feels like discovering a new skill. Then you encounter a new challenge. Redirects, write-ups mention chaining SSRF with open redirects. If you're unsure what that means, search again. How do HTTP redirects work? You'll learn about 301 and 302's location headers. Set up a local Python server, test redirect chains. A day later, you understand how to use them for SSRF. Next, data extraction. A write-up discusses extracting secrets with via SSRF. Someone uses JavaScript. You have no clue what JavaScript is. You need to learn more HTML and JavaScript. So you complete a free code academy course learning about fetch and XHR. You create a proof of concept to extract data through SSRF. It fails initially. You troubleshoot, read documentation, try again. After a week, it finally works. The satisfaction is crazy. This approach works just as well for advanced topics you might see at a security conference. When I first heard about prototype pollution, I followed the same exact process. Breaking down these complex topics into manageable pieces, filling knowledge gaps as I encountered them, and building practical examples. This isn't just learning one vulnerability. It's HTTP, regex, redirects, JavaScript, cloud infrastructure, all foundational skills that make you effective at finding and exploring multiple vulnerability classes. You may first start unfamiliar with the terms, researching every single concept. Now you're connecting exploits, understanding these technical write-ups naturally. The hackers who advance fastest aren't necessarily the smartest. They're the ones who master this learning approach. They specialize, automate repetitive tasks, and focus their energy on deeply understanding the technologies they are testing and they're not afraid to spend days or weeks truly mastering one single concept. All you need is a little bit of dedication. When you encounter obstacles, research more extensively. Start with beginner material, then advance to sophisticated research. Focus on this approach and you will progress from a beginner to discovering some crazy vulnerabilities super quickly. So for this video, we have covered a massive roadmap, your guide to becoming a bug bounty hunter. Trust me when I say this, you can absolutely do this. I started without certifications, just a little bit of determination, and now I'm regularly finding vulnerabilities in major bug bounty programs. Every professional was once a beginner, and taking that first step helps. I need you to do all those tasks, download Ubuntu, join a Discord community, complete a lab, choose one action, and begin today. The first vulnerability is waiting for you to be discovered, and I'm excited to hear about your journey in the comments. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Learn from it, make it happen. Happy hunting, and let's make an impact together. I'll see you all in next week's video. Peace.